Hey tech fam, we got this tiny little TV stick that claims to turn any monitor into 4K streaming beast. And can it live up to the hype? Let's find out. Be sure to subscribe. TV stick is a compact streaming device that plugs right into your monitor and TV's HDMI port. It's perfect for anyone who wants to add a ton of new features to their existing TV. 4K Ultra HD is the buzzword labeled on the TV stick. But sadly, my monitor and TV are stuck at 1080p support. Instead, later in this video, we will see if the other marketing words like 60fps and YouTube really holds up. Insert the TV stick into the HDMI port on your monitor or TV. You can also use the provided extension cable to easily remove and connect the TV stick conveniently. Also plug the IR sensor cable and USB power cable. Then plug the USB into the power bank or any USB power source. The remote has built-in mouse button which lets you navigate with not just buttons but also let you move the cursor up, down, left and right. With Android version 12.1, this TV stick is equipped with quad-core Cortex-A53 CPU and boasts a 2GB RAM plus 16 gigs of storage, which surpasses the specs of recent TCL Android TVs. This stick isn't just for streaming. You can go beyond Netflix and YouTube. With access to both the Google Play Store and AppToid, you can download a variety of apps. Plus, it comes preloaded with Google Chrome, so you can browse the web and download content directly. We also successfully connected this mini keyboard, which I personally like to use it on my TCL Android TV. To connect this, just plug it into the USB port on the back of your TV stick. This stick also includes UniTV Pro app. This app offers access to live TV channels, movies, and series. You get 3 days free trial of this streaming service. The problem with this streaming service is that some movies or anime series are only available in Portuguese or Japanese language. There is a wide variety of other apps that you can explore including Netflix. Play Store and Aptoid has a huge library of games on this stick. But the problem is the support. For example, we downloaded 8-Ball Pool and it crashed while for other games we were left out in the cold without a controller. Unfortunately, YouTube playback wasn't smooth on this device. Even at the lower settings, we encountered some buffering issues. 
it seems this specific unit had this issue. Thankfully, the return process was easy and we received a full refund. This budget TV stick delivered a decent bang for the buck. But there were some drawbacks. The biggest letdown for me was the lack of Bluetooth. No wireless headphones or controllers. Consider these alternatives. The feature packed Xiaomi TV stick or the reliable Amazon Fire Stick. Both offer Bluetooth connectivity and are from established brands. But be prepared to spend a bit more. Thank you for watching. See you next time.